Hello everyone, it's Donna Briggs, and today is Finance Friday, day three of the Positivity Pay It Forward Self Love Challenge. Because we're still going to do positivity, and we're still going to do Pay It Forward, but this challenge is day three of self love. But I want you to incorporate self love with paying it forward. Can you do that? I know you're like, oh my God, we did self, we did pay it forward last month. We should always pay it forward. It's day three. And today's Finance Friday will be about decentralized autonomous organizations. What does that mean? But before we get into that, we're going to say our affirmations. I am healthy. I am happy. I live in abundance. I don't let any negative people, places, things, or environments control my peace. I live in peace. I attract greatness. I'm a magnet for greatness. I'm a magnet for prosperity, love, wealth, health, and everything that is great. On to Finance Friday. So what is Decentralized Autonomous Organization? D-A-O. So cryptocurrency, unlike the money we normally use, our usual currency, is tracked by banks, tracked by the government, tracked by everything, right? But the DAO, a lot of cryptocurrency is a major feature of cryptocurrency, which means they are decentralized. What does that mean? They are not controlled by institutions like banks, governments, but are divided among a variety of computers and networks. So no banks, no government. The cryptocurrency is divided in different uh, nodes. It's called nodes. Networks, nodes, and computers. And in many cases, virtual currencies make use of this decentralized standard and status to attain levels of privacy and security. Which means they go on the dark web. Um, they are buying different things. Sometimes legal, sometimes illegal. So it's good and bad with the cryptocurrency because, of course, it's good and bad at everything. Good and bad in social media, good and bad in television, good and bad in whatever. But with this decentralized autonomous organization, it puts all the cryptocurrencies together. And like I said, it's not controlled by any single bank or institution, government or anything. So, of course, you know, people don't want to be tracked. So they get into cryptocurrency. And that is your term for the day. Decentralized Autonomous Organization. Dale. 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 Like I said, it's decentralized currency. Not controlled by the government, institutions, or banks. Oh, Salesforce sales. Salesforce stock went down 40%. 40%. Um, they're trying to figure out if they're going to bring people in back into work. Now, Salesforce just so happens, when I look out my window, I could see their building. And it's a huge building, but there was no one in it. So basically, a lot of these companies are trying to get people back into the building, in these buildings, because they're paying rent on something and it's no one there. But anyway. On to the stocks. And so they lost $35. It went down $35 on their share. So their share price is now like $251, which is like, Salesforce is a big deal. So they're like, don't know what's going to happen. And then they got this new COVID out. So a lot of these companies are like, should we bring them back in? Should we not bring them back in? They don't know what to do. Um, it's a mess. So they think it's going to be a second wave of this new COVID, new variant. So watch out for that. Of course, the stocks are going to tumble. Uh, cryptocurrency is going to go down. But the good thing about cryptocurrency, it's constantly trading 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's why I like cryptocurrency more than regular stocks. Because at 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock, it's over with. They're not trading anymore. But cryptocurrency... I can get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and check my cryptocurrency. Go to Coinbase and check on your cryptocurrency. A lot of older people don't want to get into cryptocurrency because they think it's a fad or they don't think it's going to work or 
I'm telling you, it's the way of the future. Just like the electric car, people don't want to believe in that. Oh, it's so stupid. Oh, I'm not going to do that. It doesn't make any sense. But it does. It makes lots of sense. So, today is day three of the self love challenge and also pay it forward because i want you guys to pay it forward too don't forget about paying it forward how can you pay it forward on this finance friday let's see how 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 do you pay it forward so always remember if you have a hard time respecting yourself people will have a hard time respecting you keep that in mind are you doing healthy habits that's a form of self-love Eating well, uh, exercising, um, meditating, that's a form of self-love. Um, I get up, like I said, I get up, meditate, say my affirmations, I am healthy, I am happy, I live in abundance. I don't let any negative people, places, things, or environments control my peace. I attract greatness, I am great, I live in prosperity and greatness. You say those things, and I guarantee you will have a turnaround in your life. And once you start loving yourself, other people will love you. You can't beat that. I mean, once you start loving yourself out there, it comes back to you. So keep that in mind. I love you guys. Make every day a great day. Click like and share. Oh, to all social media platforms, follow me. Click like, click share. If you know someone who wants to taste this 30-day self-love and also pay it forward challenge, because we're still doing that. Um, let me know. Let them know. I'll see you tomorrow. Success Saturday.